It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, we're going to discuss Dungeon Crawling 101. If this is your first time joining me on my channel, I like to do educational uh, and uh, and interesting and you know entertaining videos for Hero Wars and Hero Wars Mobile. This one will kind of cover both the mobile and the Facebook versions of the game. So uh, check it out. And if you find it helpful, please consider leaving a like so that it will get in front of other new Hero Wars players just like yourself. So Arcana, a uh, friend of the channel and uh, an, an overall fantastic player, wrote this dungeon guide. I want to get that out of the way. He uh, he wrote this uh, for the sake of his guild, and he has allowed me to share it to you, my my uh, my subscribers. And uh, yeah, so let's let's kind of run through his guide. So the dungeon is a game mode available only after joining a guild, of course, at level thirty. It is probably the least fun activity in the entire game. It, it seems like whenever you're doing your day-to-day -day, uh, your day-to-day -day activities, your, your daily quests, all of that, this is the least fun of all of it. okay? And it's kind of hard the, the, the hardest to master and it doesn't really explain to you explain to you how how it works um, hardly anywhere. <laughs> so let's look let's let's explain how the dungeon works. You advance through 10 level stages in the dungeon, clearing one level at a time while collecting Titanite and Titan potions. Every 10 levels, you can activate a save point that allows you to start from the previous save point, which was, of course, 10 levels earlier. The next time that you enter the dungeon. All right. So it's important. Every day that you enter the dungeon and you hit the save point, you're going back over the same 10 fights that you did the day before. Unlike the tower, the dungeon has no end. As long as your heroes and titans are strong enough to clear the current level, there is a more difficult level waiting for you. And this is li literally infinite. Titanite is collected by all guild members and your individual Titanite contributes to a daily pool of Titanite for the guild. When certain thresholds of Titanite are collected by the guild, all guild members are rewarded with summoning spheres that contain Titans and Titan stone fragments. These will help you evolve your Titans, making them more powerful for future battles. And we covered that in the video that I posted up earlier, the uh, how to be a good guild member part two, covers uh, Titanite and the different, uh, the different tiers of summoning spheres that you can earn. There are two types of battles that you can encounter in the dungeon. The first is hero versus hero battles, just like every battle in the tower. <clears throat> the major difference here is that your hero health is fully replenished between battles. So in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, this is similar, but kind of the inverse to the tower. And I'll tell you what I mean in this next section. The second type is Titan versus Titan battles, and these are divided into two kinds of battles, those allowing all Titans to participate and those allowing only a specific Titan element to participate. Some levels allow you to choose which type of Titan battle to pursue, and your Titan health is not replenished between battles, so you'll have to choose very carefully. And you can exit a battle at any time if you feel like you're doing pool, uh, poorly and you want to try the fight again, similar to how you can do it with heroes in the tower. This is where it starts to get a little tricky. Okay, each time you choose a specific Titan battle type, that is fire, earth, or water, or, or all, that type of battle will become more difficult in the future. That means you'll need to plan for tomorrow's dungeon run by choosing which battles to participate in today. For example, choosing the option to allow all Titan elements to participate in battle may be more manageable today, but that means tomorrow when you choose the same battle type, you will face enemy Titans who are a higher level or further evolved. This is where most players get stuck in the dungeon. They push too far one day and the next day find it difficult to advance hardly at all. <clears throat> you want to collect enough Titanite each day to get individual rewards. Uh, each day you'll see two quests. The first quest rewards a summoning sphere for collecting 75 Titanite and the second quest rewards a summoning sphere for collecting 150 Titanite. As you may have experienced, it can be extremely difficult to collect 75 Titanite some days. Why is that? It's because you overextended yourself in the dungeon the day before. Remember we said that the dungeon becomes more difficult based on the types of battles you fought the day before. So how do you maximize your Titanite contribution each day while minimizing the difficulty of the dungeon? Well, let's get to it in just a second. But before we do that, I do want to mention as an aside on the Facebook version of the game, if you purchase Valkyrie's Favor, then you can automatically get 150 Titanite each day towards your guild's cumulative total and completing the two daily quests. 
Okay, so that's that's only if you pay the money to, to do it. Not the case on mobile, just on Facebook. So let's break down the dungeon rewards a little bit to make things easier to see. Each time you pass a level for the first time, each time you complete a fight for the very first time, you receive double rewards. These rewards are based on the type of battle won. Hero battles reward 50 Titan Potions and 2 Titanite, while Titan battles reward 2 random Titan Stone Fragments and 10 Titanite. Okay, let's compare those rewards to levels we've cleared the previous day. Repeating a level only rewards half of what you'd get for clearing a battle the first time. Previously cleared hero battles reward 25 potions and one titanite, while previously cleared titan battles reward one random titan stone and five titanite. Clearly, it is advantageous for you to be victorious the first time you face an enemy team. You don't have to be good at maths to see that double the rewards will get you in the guild titanite more quickly, earning you those summoning spheres. Titans do lose health for every battle they take part in. We want as many of those battles as possible to be first-time victories for those double rewards. How do we maximize our first-time victories and rewards each day? Well, it has to do with these save points that you activate at the end of each 10-fight set. As stated above, or previously, save points can be accessed every 10 dungeon levels. As you can see in this case, by activating the save point at level 250, we can start the dungeon tomorrow at level 241, which is the previous save point was, you know, level 240. The save point has been activated and we should stop for the day. We have secured uh, a bunch of Titanite 91 for ourselves in the guild and completed the daily quest for 75 Titanite, earning ourselves a summoning sphere. If your elemental tanks are dead, that is uh, Sigurd, Malik, and Angus, it's time to stop, provided you have activated a save point. Your Titan teams are unlikely to, to continue to survive if you push further into the dungeon at this point. Can you earn a few more Titanite and Titan potions? Probably, but you have to remember you are making tomorrow's run more difficult by gaining any more victories today. Earning a few more potions or Titanite today may mean you earn almost nothing tomorrow. We also want to maximize the number of first victories, uh, first time victories in our next run. So stopping at that save point is extremely beneficial. And let's let's cover two scenarios. Remember, our save point is level 250, and our starting level tomorrow is 241. Keep in mind that half of the levels are hero battles and half are titan battles. Your progress will almost always be halted on a titan battle you just couldn't quite pass meaning the previous battle was most likely a hero battle so two scenarios we have scenario one we decided to push a little further into the dungeon and we're ultimately defeated at level 258 okay our water titans just couldn't hold out tomorrow we start running the gauntlet at 241 and our titans are finally worn down after clearing 19 levels Unfortunately, 18 of those levels were repeated. A minimum of 10 levels are repeated every day by default, and the additional levels that you just had to push for the day before. Only one of those victories was a new victory. Okay, so keep that in mind. Or scenario two, we stopped after activating the level 250 save point. Tomorrow, we easily reached the level 260 save point. We cleared 10 old levels because you complete 10 levels that you fought yesterday every day, and 10 new levels. We decide to stop again. We don't want to press our luck, even though our Titans have a little health remaining. With any luck, we'll be able to duplicate the same success in our next run. We don't need to do math here, because we know that we received roughly the same amount of resources in both scenarios. We earned a little extra in the, same in the, in the second scenario because we were able to advance one level further to the next save point before we quit. The only difference here is that some resources in the first scenario were earned the previous day because we decided to push further into the dungeon past the save point again on the previous day. The major difference you should notice is our starting point tomorrow. In the first scenario, we have to start again at level 241 because we didn't reach the level 260 save point. We've only accessed the save point at level 250. In the second scenario, we will start at 251 because we reached the level 260 save point. Remember, because you always go back 10 levels. So why are we struggling more in the first scenario? We overextended ourselves on the first day, just getting a little bit more, making battles that much more difficult the next day. Can we clear 20 levels a day instead of 10? Of course. How far you push should be dependent on how much health your Titans have left at each save point. If they are above half health, you may be able to clear another 10 levels. 
This dungeon concept you should be learning is to know when to quit each day and why. By pacing yourself in the dungeon and quitting at save points, we make the dungeon that much easier for ourselves tomorrow. So I want to really quickly wrap this video up saying thank you again, Arcana, for this fantastic Dungeon 101 write-up. Um, you need to have a conversation with your guild, whether it's a Facebook guild or a mobile guild on what's the minimum required. Do you need to be pushing to 150 each day? Can you know? Should you just stop at 90, tighten eight each day? You need to have that conversation. And when you do, when you do, make sure you stick to it. It doesn't take long to do the dungeon, even though it's kind of tedious, but you need to do it every day because ultimately in Guild Wars and in cross-server tournaments, having those strong titans is all that matters. Well, it's, it's half of what matters, I guess I should say. So... If there are any questions about all of this, I know that that was a lot. I know that, that was a lot, but if there are any questions about any of this, please consider joining the Discord. Um, leave a comment in this section, uh, comment section down below, and we can you know chat about it a little further. I really thought this was a very well done write up, but please let me know if you guys have any critiques. Um, Arcana loves uh, loves to alter and edit his you know his stuff, and I think this is going to have a forever home in my central depository of knowledge. That you know eventually, whenever I build my website, this will be on there so um, enjoy these videos that i have linked on screen now this is the you know how to be the best guild member part one and part two check those videos out i'll talk to you then but you know if you decide not to view those videos that's fine also your viewing this video is more than enough for me i love you all good luck in dominion